If you're one of those people who can't seem to tie their bathrobe tight enough, try this out instead of placing the rope on the back. Rather, try placing it in the front. Do your earphones constantly slip out? You should wear them upside down to stop this from happening. Perhaps I should have skipped this one. Now I might be running out of excuses to start jogging. If you're one of those people who can't eat a burger without making a mess, well, first of all, welcome to the club. And second, flip it upside down. Yeah, it surprised me too. I never thought I would really make any progress with this one. Speaking of mess, Pringles can be tricky to eat too. Instead of reaching your hands in a container, perhaps you should try this. Place a piece of paper and put it on its side. Slide it on out and now you have a practical tray to eat the chips. Most of us haven't been sitting on the toilet properly. According to the anatomy of our body, we're not supposed to be sitting at a 90 degree angle. The more natural position would be squatting because that way your digestive system is not constricting that much as when sitting. That's why the mini step stool comes in handy. Try getting one of these to keep it by the toilet. The right and perhaps the most practical way to put a trash bag inside of your bin could be, once again, if you turn it upside down. Then you can place a bag on top of the trash can and simply pull the top of the bag downward. Who would have thought that sticking a post-it on the wall could be tricky too? Well, to do this better, just peel it from the side. That way, the paper won't curl. No matter what I do, my cabinet always looks messy. So this trick comes in handy. Hang all of your spray bottles on a clothing rod. Ta-da! You got yourself more space to make more mess. For all of you who like those small tricks that make your sandwich look better, cut your ham or cheese in half. That way, you can divide pieces and arrange them to fit your sandwich the way they're supposed to. I had to learn to eat apples properly too. So if you eat it from the bottom to top, the core of the apple mixes in with the rest of the fruit so nothing ends up wasted. When you're wrapping your towel around the waist, take the edges and roll them up. Oh man, not the scissors too. Okay then, put your ring finger and thumb between the loops. That way, your hand will get some extra strength and stability while working with scissors. Push the center of your food container. That way you actually close all four corners at once. Finally! Then there's taking a shower too. During the winter, when it's cold outside, a few things can make your day as much as a hot shower can. But there's one problem with that. Hot water actually opens your pores, which means your skin is losing more water. Plus, this way, you wash away all those oily layers that protect your skin. So this might make your skin itchy and dry. Warm showers are okay, but try to avoid your water from being too hot. Along with this, I know we all prefer long showers after an exhausting day. But once again, being in the water for too long dries out your skin. So it's okay to take a shower every day, but it's supposed to be as short as possible. You'll want to know more about this one. How to charge your phone without destroying its battery. First, the best would be to charge it a little at a time. Whenever there's a chance, even when you only have a few minutes. Don't fully discharge the phone before you plug it in. So, don't let your phone's battery level go too low because it wears down your battery. Next, the ideal thing to do to keep its lifespan longer would be to keep your battery's charge level somewhere between 65 and 75%. Of course, it's hard to keep it this way all the time, so at least aim between 45 and 75%. There's no need to fully charge your phone either, especially when you're going from a low charge level. For example, if your battery level is lower than 25% and you charge it to 100%, this will reduce the capacity of your battery as well as shorten its lifespan. A high voltage, which means when you're fully charging your phone, only stresses your battery and wears it out. So yeah, you guessed it right, it's better to avoid charging the phone overnight too. Here's something about trimming your fingernails properly. So you probably notice a subtle curve on your nail clippers. It seems as if these are made for a single snip action. In reality, it takes three or four clips to do the work. Avoid cramming your nail into the clipper's head and trying to snip it right away. When you clip your nail straight on, you can bend and damage it and try not to go too short either. During your first driving lessons, you most likely learned the 10 and 2 rule. 
Imagine your steering wheel is a round clock showing two and 10. They say you should keep your hands exactly there. It's how you're supposed to keep optimum control over your car, especially if you need to avoid an obstacle that comes out of nowhere. But this is apparently wrong because the recommended position is now nine and three, or at least something close to that. That way, you keep your hands out of the way of the airbags. You should place both hands on the opposite sides of the wheel because that way you can comfortably make turns when you're driving at higher speeds. Even scrambled eggs is not just cracking a couple of eggs into a hot oily pan and whisking it. The trick is to take some time so you can scramble the eggs over medium low heat. When you do a quick sizzle, you'll only dry out your eggs, which is probably fine if you're in a hurry. But it's better to take a minute or so more to get a better breakfast. So crack the eggs in a separate bowl and whisk them. Drop a little bit of butter into a nonstick pan. Pour the eggs in there and stir them over medium-low heat until they start to solidify. You can also remove them from the burner before they begin to look done. They'll cook a little bit more until they cool down anyway. Have you ever thought you should improve sitting in front of your computer too? Even if you work out after you come home, it's still not enough to completely reverse the consequences of a day you mostly spent in a chair. So it's important to have some micro motion periods throughout the day. For example, you can just stretch a couple of times per hour or spend a few seconds walking. Chewing too much gum or sucking mints is not such a good habit. It's something we mostly take as a short-term fix for bad breath. But in case they contain sugar, and they mostly do, that sugar actually feeds the bacteria in your mouth and gut. If you can't avoid mints and gums and like to have them with you, at least try to choose ones that don't contain artificial flavors, colors, and aspartame, a type of artificial sweetener mostly used in these things. What's your favorite sleeping position? If it's on your stomach, think about changing your sleeping habits. First, if you sleep on your stomach, you are severely twisting your spine. Since you'll turn your head to one side and have one hip hitched up, this position affects your blood flow. So ideally, you should sleep either on your side or your back. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.